And the goal for today, me, I'm going to be coaching you on locations. Locations. Totally different from what you had learned in the course, okay? So here we go. This is rhetorical purpose questions. In rhetorical purpose questions, we need to look at the sentence before, sometimes after. If it's after, it's a bad passage. The Chinese have no fucking clue what they're doing. Very typical. But most times the answer always comes before. So anytime you see, why does the author discuss? All right. And then we're going to go through there. Now, this is a little bit easier just because there's a question. It says, yes. why does the author discuss the question? What is the world made of? We're probably going to have to look just after, but to be honest with you, it's just some guy speaking to himself. It makes no fucking idea. It, it makes no sense. So what we have to do is look at the before and we have to scan, not read. Yeah. So we look here. I read. And see, you funny. read. And a lot of people, I remember I taught a, a, a girl last year, probably about a year ago. And she learned with three different types of tutors. And every time she got onto the coaching call, she seemed destroyed. She seemed soulless because she just lost all hope. She seemed hopeless. There we go. Hopeless. And so because yes. there's so many different tutors saying, oh, you have to read the whole passage. No, the motherfuck you don't. Okay. No, you do not. So after, and you know, after these hours and after we do all this coaching, you're going to be like, Okay, because you're going to read I don't have to read the passage. Correct. Now, mm -hmm. again, Indida, I'm praying to the heavens that this new test is not a scam. Yes. You're going to have to become a master of reading because you already had a low score in it. Man, it might be yes. even lower just because you're only going to get 20 questions now. Yes. These questions will possibly be very difficult and the Indians and the Chinese will do anything they can to corrupt the system. If it's not already corrupt, really? or we might get lucky and we might be the very first to take the new test. Therefore, the system isn't corrupted yet. See what I mean? So sometimes when they implement a new system, as they did back in 2020, when it came to 2021, man, my students were getting high scores. Okay. Really? It, wasn't, it didn't matter if you were in Perth, Australia or in Boston, Massachusetts, or if you were in at a student in uh, Makaresh, uh, Morocco. People were getting high scores left to right. But then after a while, the system had gotten corrupted. So this may be the biggest blessing in disguise for us because now the fucking scammers do not have their hands in ETS right now. Okay. So, so let us pray, please, Anita. Because I just- hey, how they, I, I didn't know that. That's amazing. And, you, and the thing is, like I just told you, a week before the test debut, everyone yeah. was getting low scores. One of my students wrote 400 words in her independent essay. She got a 15. Do you know how, do you know how bad, it's not even how bad. You're probably only going to write two paragraphs with about 30 words per paragraph if you get a 15. Oh my God, I, I, I get a uh, 20 and I've brought a lot, a lot, a lot, more than 500, I think. I don't know. You see what I mean? You're a person who writes a lot. I don't know if it's linkers, this and that. It's hit or miss. It just, it's such a corrupted system. It's hit or miss. And to be honest with you, taking IELTS in America scares the shit out of me too. I have a student who took IELTS. She had an African-American examiner and she was a bitch beyond bitch. She only got a five and a half speaking. That is unbelievable. That is corrupt. That, that person should be fired. But remember, IELTS is a real test. It's a real test. Examiners need to be licensed. But in America, you just never fucking know. Like, do the, the, do the Americans really know about a British test? Are they trained like the British? Do they have years of experience? Do they go through their licensing? Are they actual licensed examiners? Or is it just a bitch with an attitude that shows up on camera and says, no, that's not what I asked you. No, 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 no. It's so hard. It's so hard. Even that we're living in a world where money is everything. They will fail. Oh my god! Yeah. Any way, shape, or form, they can. Okay. So, yes. yeah. with that being said, let's dive into this bad boy. Mm -hmm. What is the world made of? Why does the author ask this question? Obviously, to figure out what is the world made of. <laughs> so let's look at this. 
okay, groundwork thinkers, observers, science, etc. made the first steps toward a new, more objective approach to finding out about the world. Oh, okay. He posed a very basic question. Oh, okay. What is the world made of? Oh, okay. Now, Thales. Is there anything really much about Thales, circa who gives a fuck? Don't really care about that. Now, if we go into... Yeah. Many others had asked the same question before him, but Thales, ooh, it looks like there's a lot of referencing. There's a lot of focus on this Thales person, okay? And it mm -hmm. says here, but Thales based his answer strictly on what he had observed and what he could reason out, not on imaginative stories about the gods of the supernatural. <laughs> so why does the author ask this question? What is the world made of? This is all based on Thales, and this is based on Thales not looking at it from uh, uh, Athena or Apollo and all these other Greek goddesses. He's trying to look at it from a real perspective in terms of what the world is made of. So now let's look at the answers, and let's see if we can use the process of elimination to understand it better. A, to explain how Thales deferred from earlier Greek thinkers, ooh, because earlier Greek thinkers in Mira, they were the mm -hmm. ones that looked at it from a gods and the supernatural, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So this uh, A is not too bad. Let's look at mm -hmm. to trace the origin of the question. No, there's no tracing of the origin of the question. Okay. To emphasize that the answer to the question proposed by Thales was the first correct solution. I see nothing in terms of the correct solution or anything. No. This does not relate to it. We're at, we're looking at the why does the author discuss the question, what is the world made of? It's something that Thales was looking at from a different perspective from other people. D, to suggest why the question remained unanswered for so long, that could be. So I'm kind of in between A and B, but I eliminated C and D because it doesn't really focus on the question itself. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so what do you think? Now, in this, in this case, what do you normally do? Indira, what do you normally do? Well, um, I, I read. <laughs> huh? this, is, this is the thing. You read right. faster, and I take more time to read. Okay. Or, but, in my opinion. How do you go about, so the, these rhetorical purpose questions, and again, this wasn't actually on my reading course. I'm just trying to figure out why was this question asked? And it was Thales who asked it. He looked at it from a more basic approach. Basic approach versus a complex approach. Complex approach is the other Greek philosophers looked at it as Apollo, Zeus created us, all this crazy supernatural, blah, 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 blah. Thales wanted to understand the very, the very real basic way of what is this world made of. That's the, why this question Maybe, was maybe D. So you think it's D? I believe it's a little bit more A. Yes, it is A. Yeah. And it is A. To explain yeah. how Thales deferred, and I said it at the very beginning before even going into B, C, or D. Yes. Thales deferred from earlier Greek thinkers. And the reason why is because other Greek thinkers looked at it from an almighty supernatural gods of the universe type of shit, right? Mm -hmm. So what I did, I said, okay, this is a rhetorical purpose question. Number one, it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, I'm gonna have to break things down a little bit more methodically. Mm -hmm. I looked at the question, what is the world made of? Okay, somebody had to have asked the question. Mm -hmm. So I looked at Thales, and he is one of the best Greek philosophers from that time. Mm -hmm. Now, he wanted to understand a more basic and ooh, ooh, objective approach, not opinion. Opinions are the other Greek philosophers who thought the world was created by Apollo. He yes. wanted to know, is it water? Is it hydrogen? Is it oxygen? Gotcha. So he deferred from earlier Greek thinkers. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Good. Okay. Yes. All right. So there it is. Gotcha. Now let's go into ooh, vocabulary questions. Indira, how are your vocabulary questions? Not that bad. 
No, that bad, I guess. I think. Not that bad? Okay, so what does renown mean? What does renown mean? It says his two best known follow uh, followers, though there were undoubtedly others who attained less renown or renown, renown, whatever. Now, again, let me let me say that again. Uh -huh. There is a there's an antonym. His two best known followers. These people are renowned. Yeah. It says we're yeah. Alexander. Oh, I'm sorry. Though there were undoubtedly others who attained less renown, there's an opposite. Yes. Best known, less renowned. Best known, less renowned. Do you see that? That's an yes. answer. So best known meaning very famous, less renowned meaning less famous. Yes. What's your answer? For me, and C. Wealth, B, fame. Fame, but a fame hey, is renowned. Best known, best known, best known, most famous. Yes, fame, fame. Fame. Oh you see? Now, obviously, yeah. the reading uh, what is in the vocabulary. You're going to have to go back and watch this some more. There are some tips and techniques, but looking at the context of the sentence, boom. Me, yeah. when I looked at the vocabulary where I already knew what renown means, because I always know world-renowned author, world-renowned hotel. You know what I mean? Yes. So. Yes, it's, 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 yes. Huh? It's, it's like the same in, in Spanish. The translation, but I think it. Okay. Then why did you choose C as in wealth? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Because it's 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 right. It's renown. It's same like renombre, and in, in Spanish. Re ah, I see. I see. See, I'm diving into the see. So that's what I'm doing today. Is like the day of understanding context, but also diving into the psychic of why you choose answers the way you do. Yeah. Just like Freddie, just like Christina. Now, the three of you, I pinpoint you guys because Christina is one of those students who get a 25, 23, 23, but she gets a 17 in reading. Really? This is one of the issues. Freddie is a guy where I have to do a lot of listening. And for example, I wrote down bioluminescent and he's like, Arsenio, why'd you write that down? I was like, because that's a content word. Why'd you write down theory? Because the theories are what we have to write down. Those are the main ideas. I'm diving into the psychic because if he's not doing that, he doesn't have the notes. If he doesn't have the notes, he can't answer the question. Yes. These are some of the big things. So what that's what I'm trying to do here. Today is like that yeah. evaluative. I don't, I just created that word. I'm fucking amazing. Evaluative. I just created okay. that word. I'm yes. gonna be evaluating you and seeing because you said wealth. And I'm like, what does it say anything about money up in here? Does it say followers have money? Uh, does it say best known money makers? Yes. Uh, yes. Does it say Onyx and Mender and Axel and Magamenes? I don't even know how to say these fucking words. Onyx and Menis. There we go. Onyx and Mender. Does it say it? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No. Let's keep it going. Comprehensive. Let's go. Number three. The word comprehensive. Indira. What does comprehensive mean? Now, it says attempted to write a comprehensive history of the universe. A, a complete B, true C, short D, academic. This is a little hard because when I think of comprehensive, I think of something that's difficult to understand, something that's long. Yeah, it's comprehensive. I understand the word comprehensive and the meaning, but I'm trying to find the right word for comprehensive uh, here. So let's eliminate. Let's eliminate yes, first. How about that? It's not right. A comprehensive. It's not complete. Could be because remember, it's long. It's extensive. That's what it means. So I do like complete because true. remember the history. Oh yes, of it could be complete because it's, com it's a complete yeah. history of the universe. Ugh. Yes. A answer. You see what yes. I mean? Like we're trying yes. to figure out something. Something history of the universe. Yes. Is, can you put an academic history? <laughs> it doesn't no. make sense, right? A short yes. history? 